What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I hope that this video is going to be okay quality. I actually am visiting at my parents house and I have my vlogging camera on me but I don't have my actual regular DSLR that I normally use to film on this channel so it might look you know not the best quality and I am outside. It's a little bit windy. The sun is setting but I did want to film this video for you guys today because I get questions all the time about my hair and here's the thing you guys. I actually just came back from the salon. Actually this morning I had a 9 a.m. Uh, salon appointment so I went and I got that done and you guys know how it is your hair looks its best like straight out of the salon and I was like you know what I can film this video tomorrow or next week but my hair is just not gonna look as good as how my stylist blew it out and I wanted to show it off to you guys in its best state if that makes any type of sense so this video is just gonna really quickly be about what I got done at the salon because I know that I've been telling you guys lately that I feel like my hair has been very kind of dry on the ends and frizzy and just dull and not silky looking I'm sorry that of course that bird is gonna have to be like making that noise my whole entire video I'm sorry about that okay so I want you guys to keep in mind that I think I just said my salon appointment was at 9 a.m. today it's already after 7 p.m. at night so it definitely doesn't look as fresh and as uh, voluminized as when I first walked out of the salon, but it still looks good. So what I wanna do first is back up a little bit and show you guys my hair. I tried to just throw on my sister's jacket so you guys could see it against a lighter background. I'm gonna explain my cut to you guys in a second, but just want to quickly show you guys the back. Hopefully that gives you a good idea. If not, you know what? We're gonna make life easier and I'm just going to insert a picture of what my hair looks like. So I quickly wanna talk about the treatment that I got done and then the hair dye that we used and then also the um, the, the haircut that I got because a lot of you guys ask what I get done or what I ask for when I go into the salon. And I know a lot of people get confused. I'm the type of person that I will just normally bring in a picture so I don't really have to explain it. Um, but yeah, all right, that bird. It's really annoying me. All right, so the first thing that I wanna talk about are the color and the conditioning treatment that I decided to get done. So as far as the color, you guys know that it's always like an ongoing struggle with me. I really want this beautiful, like deep, deep, deep midnight black, midnight blue black hair. Um, but any stylist that I've ever been to has always told me in order to get that blue tint in my black hair, that I actually have to bleach out some of the black so they can put some of that blue color and then darken it up. It's kind of like if you take a black piece of paper and then try to go right on it with a black marker, it's not gonna show up because my hair is so, so dark. The blue is just not gonna show up. And when I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? It just does not make sense for me to bleach my hair to go back to a really deep midnight blue shade or blue black I don't want to bleach my hair because it's very damaging so all we ended up doing is using a really deep um, black blue black hair dye on top but as you guys can see it's really hard to see the blue if you really look for it out in the Sun you might see it at like a certain angle but to be completely honest with you guys for the most part it just looks like a really really dark 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 jet black and I will put the name of the color down below because I did ask him to write it down for me and then on the ends he actually just did a stain because I already had my black hair dye in there and you really don't want to have to damage your hair and put hair dye all over so we did the hair dye on top and then a blue black stain on the bottom I will also put the name of that stain down below in case you guys are interested and then the part that was new this time is we decided to do a conditioning treatment so I asked you guys on Instagram what's the best conditioning treatment out there and so many of you guys told me coconut oil hot oil treatments um, silicon mix conditioner which I do have a video on I used to love that stuff back in the day keratin treatments um, Brazilian blowouts and Olaplex now here's the thing I feel like since my hair is already naturally straight it just doesn't make sense for me to go and get a keratin treatment just to try and get rid of some of the frizz toward the end of my hair I'll put a picture in to show you guys what my hair looks like if I kind of just go to sleep with it wet it gets very frizzy and kind of just unmanageable on the ends and I don't feel like it's really a good idea for me to get a keratin treatment on my entire head when I already have naturally straight hair it just doesn't make sense so I'm like you know what keratin the Brazilian blowout I'm gonna knock that out coconut oil I do like but I feel like it always leaves a residue on my hair and no matter what I do I can't ever get the residue out and I feel like my hair is still greasy and weighed down on the end so coconut oil even though it does deliver great results 
like the residue is so annoying to me and going to sleep with it in my hair I don't like it so coconut oil same thing with hot oil treatments I've tried that with olive oil and I just haven't seen any great results the silicon mix conditioner I do like but I just don't think that it's that extreme I've also been using the Moroccan argan oil deep conditioning treatment in the shower and I do really like that stuff I will say that I like that um, but basically my stylist told me about this thing called Afogee, which I did look it up online. You can buy it in stores, but it's kind of like a three-step system and you need to sit under a dryer. I mean, you could do it with your handheld blow dryer, but I just got it done in the salon because it was only about $20 and basically what it is is a protein treatment that he said delivers so much protein into your hair that you can only actually go in to do it or do it yourself once a month because if you put too much protein in your hair, it will actually snap off. Too much of a good thing is actually not a good thing and that really pretty much goes for everything so we did that and it was only a $20 treatment and I'm telling you guys like it made my hair feel so so silky um, I will try to put a little description right here or down below um, for what the Afogee is supposed to do I know he explained it to me while we were doing it but I think it like seals down the cuticle of your hair and it just brings back the shine it made my hair silky it feels so soft and I really like it and I love the fact that it's just a $20 treatment instead of like a $200 Brazil blowout so we did that so okay we covered the hair dye we covered the conditioning treatment and then I quickly want to talk to you guys about the cut again because I get questions all the time and I know the Sun is coming down and it looks like I have a mustache because of the shadow that the Sun is giving me so let me see if I can kind of move my camera yeah this is not really gonna work is it okay I think that looks pretty much the same but the video is about to end again the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is a cut because you guys ask me all the time what cut to ask for at your salon if you want one similar to mine so again I really like to show pictures I don't like to describe it but just in case you're the type of person that prefers to describe it no problem I'm gonna let you guys know what I would ask for so the first thing is since my hair is really really long and fine and straight the ends get really really stringy but I always love the idea of that V cut in the back I'll put a picture in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about but I just think that it's a really sexy look when you have your hair all the way in the back and it goes into like a V shape so I've had that for the longest time but then I asked my stylist I'm like you know what I kind of feel like the V cut makes the hair look even thinner in the ends or at the end or is it my imagination and he was like no you're actually 100% right if you do a blunt cut your ends are gonna look a lot more fuller and it's gonna look a lot more healthier and less stringy and kind of ratty at the end so that's what I decided to do you guys probably can't tell right now because of the way that I have it blown out but in the back it's actually a blunt straight across cut instead of a V cut so the hair does look a lot fuller and I really didn't you I didn't lose that much length I think that we ended up chopping off around three inches which is not that bad at all and holy crap can you guys even see my face right now oh my god the struggle is freaking real maybe I should just like not face the Sun You know what, I am just going to legit pick up my camera like I'm vlogging right now for the rest of this video. I think that's a little bit better. And then basically the last thing I asked him to do was to fix the front of my hair because you guys know that I've been parting it a lot in the middle lately. And I kind of go through my phases. I feel like one year I'll go and I'll part it on the side and the next year I'll part it in the middle. And I always like to switch it up. But the last time that I got a cut was when I was parting it on the side. So I asked the girl to give me the layers to kind of lay on the left side of my face. but then the layers on the right side of my face when I parted it in the middle were still really really long and it just did not match up so basically what he did is he gave me angles in the front of my hair I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard to see because I do have really really dark hair but basically I wanted this one to match up with this one this one to match up with this one before it just was not even at all and I'm also trying to grow out these bangs so that was a little bit on the difficult side because my bangs used to be really really short and I'm kind of over them now so eventually I do want them to be about a little bit under chin length and gradually go into the angles um, but if they're kind of in an awkward stage right now which is why you guys pretty much see me always pinning them back behind my ears because they're they're just in an awkward kind of grow out stage right now so that is pretty much the color that I get the conditioning treatment that I get and the cut that I get I think I covered everything I get a lot of questions from you guys on hair and I also get a lot of requests on doing hair tutorials but you guys know that hair is just not my thing I always tell people that my channel is everything under the woman's umbrella like 
skincare, makeup, fashion, life advice, but the hair, to be honest with you guys, is something that I'm not really that good at. So I leave it to the professionals. I do my black box dye at home, but for the most part, I'm just, I'm not a good person with hair. So again, I leave it to the professionals. So that's basically what I got done at the salon. Again, I wish that I would have freshly like filmed for you guys straight out of the salon because it's been a long time. It's pretty late into the evening, but I did vlog it on my vlog channel. So please make sure to go ahead and check it out over there. I'm not sure if that vlog is going to be up first or if this video will be up first, but either way, definitely go check out my vlog channel because I love my vlog family and we get crazy. We get hype over there and this is kind of what it's like this is my vlog camera this is the quality that you will see over there and it's just a lot more laid back and I feel like I can really well I feel like I can really be myself on both of my channels but I definitely want you guys to still check it out so thank you so much for watching this video if you guys have any questions on any of the products that I use or anything that I asked for at the salon or any of the services that I get done definitely let me know I try my absolute hardest to get back to every single one of you guys that comment especially lately normally I would just for like the first two days right back to every single comment the first two days that a video was up but lately I've been trying to get back to every single person that comments and also the same thing on my Instagram and on my Facebook pan fan page pan page what is that on my Facebook fan page so I will have all the information for everything down below links and all that good stuff and nothing is sponsored I don't want you guys to think that I'm working with a stylist or anything I randomly walked in there and this is the first time that I met this stylist and I like fell in love with him he's amazing he really listened to everything that I wanted so I'm gonna put his information down below in case any of you guys are interested this box is blowing away because that is what I was balancing my camera on before but but um, yeah, that didn't really end up working. So again, make sure to check out everything down below. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.